The government has initially planned a national roads projects to be financed through oil proceeds. Natural and man-made disaster set in at some stage in the implementation process. Flooding in the country halted oil exhalation and military escalations in neighboring Sudan disrupt petroleum export, so drying up financial resources for the roads projects. Apart from these two key constraints, individuals and groups encroach on the roads in some sections. I think this one has to stop now. Minister Simon Mijog Mijak presented the points in response to inquiries from lawmakers in the Council of States on the status of national roads projects implementation. Because of the dependency of the country on oil keep disturbing the allocation for, uh, for roads. And let me make it clear here, uh, the oil proceeds, uh, we have two um, a pipeline. Uh, roads is only uh, given uh, the uh, oil production or being produced in Unity States and ruling administrative area. Nile plan. The production of uh, <coughs> Nile plan is disturbed with the flooding for the last three or four years. Respond to a question on why the ministry appears to focus on certain roads projects at the expense of others. Minister Mijog Mijak says the priority is given to areas where there are no roads. There are some areas connected. Like yourself, as honorable members, when you are given your recess, some of you will drive their cars to their constituencies. Mm. Some will not. They will fly. So this is where I am to balance the priorities. I know there are people who are talking of bad roads, but there are people who have no road at all. So who to be given the first priorities? The acting spokesperson of the Council of States, Okolo Lewin, expressed the satisfaction of the lawmakers with the report from the National Minister of Roads and Bridges. He says the Council of States will work with the line ministries to ascertain the Ministry of Roads and Bridges gets the necessary support to accomplish its mandate. The members as well asked uh, him on several other questions to which he answered them successfully and we are very much delightful uh, for the presentation that he has done today. And we therefore ask if a minister is someone by the council and he presents like this, we will be you know, aware of the status of uh, that particular ministry. Improvements in road connectivity in some areas across the country have led to improvement accessibility to health care facilities and schools. Young people have certainly gained access to schools at low transport costs with the improvement on Tony Wow Road. Taban Juma, SBC.